Environments for pedestrians can have multiple floors and other height differences, for example, ramps. In pedestrian dynamics, you can easily model complex infrastructures. In this video, you'll learn how to create an environment with multiple floors. To build these, you need to work with height layers. Every model has at least one height layer element. When you start a new model, a rectangular height layer is already drawn in the layout. Pedestrians, also called agents, can walk on the whole area, bounded by the height layer. It is possible that part of a floor in a building is raised, for example, half a meter in height. This can be modeled with one height layer, using a walkable area elements. When a walkable area is present in a height layer, agents can only walk on this area of the height layer. Each walkable area can be raised or tilted to create all kinds of complex environments. As soon as you need to model floors of a building or a platform below a station hall, and agents need to be able to walk above each other, a second height layer is needed. A height layer can be drawn in the layout just as other elements such as an obstacle. The height layer button can be found in the draw toolbar. The height layer can be drawn anywhere in the layout. On the display page, you can open the 3D model viewer. Here you see that both layers still have the same height. In select mode, you can double click the border of the height layer to open its properties window. The Z location property determines the height of the layer in meters. Agents will not be able to walk from one layer to another without a connection. Layers with different heights can be connected with infrastructural elements, stairs, escalator, and moving walk. If they have the same height, they can be connected with a moving walk or its transfer connection element. These are all elements that can be drawn in the layout and are found on the draw toolbar. Here, a stairs element will be added to connect the layers. It must be drawn in the bottom layer. Be aware that elements are added to the active height layer. To see and control the active layer, open the layers panel. Here, an obstacle is drawn and added in the active layer. If this is not the correct layer, you can easily move it to another layer to select the new layer to make it the active layer and press the Move to Active Layer button on the Selection toolbar. To draw the stairs, the bottom layer is set as the active layer. The transfer property needs to be checked to make sure the stairs form a connection between the layers. Make sure the layer to and from properties are set correctly. To improve the 3D visualization, you can combine the height layer and the stairs drawing. For this, open the properties window of the upper layer. This also can be done from the layer panel. Click open GUI and the property window of the active layer will appear. Set the option combine drawing to 3D. In the 3D viewer, you can now look through the upper layer down the stairs. Now you know the basics to build your pedestrian infrastructure from scratch. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.